Chapter 20, Part 2 of Beloved, starts a series of stream of consciousness monologues. Seth is in this chapter, and then Denver and Beloved in the next two, and all three together in Chapter 23. Seth begins here, Beloved, she my daughter, she mine. She come back to me in the flesh. I won't ever let her go. Milk is on Setha's mind here, the stolen milk that belonged to her babies. They dug a hole for her belly, and she bit a piece of her tongue off when they whipped her. Setha can't believe she didn't recognize Beloved sooner. Paul D. must have distracted her. He called her love too rough, too thick. Her plan was to kill her children and herself. It didn't work, but Beloved came back like a good girl, like a daughter. Her own mother had the bit so many times she smiled. Now Setha can sleep, lay down in peace, because she came back to me, my daughter, and she is mine. Setha's stream of consciousness meditations are a collage of images we now recognize, all meant to make Beloved understand that she killed her out of fierce and determined love. Setha makes connections to her own mother, who may have tried to escape without her. There's a difficult moral ambiguity here. Setha has Paul D's insult in her mind that condemns what she did. But to her, it was an act of maternal protection. This chapter is fragmented in form, and readers may feel a jolt between the reasoned, thought-out plan that Setha recounts and her possessive focus on Beloved.